One of the things rose gardeners struggle the most with is watering. How often you should water, how you should water, what you should apply. That's what we're going to talk about today in this video. First of all, let's talk about how often you should water. Roses like infrequent, deep watering. What do I mean by that? What I mean is you want to soak them like a gallon of water at a time. A quarter of an inch of rain also counts as a full watering, by the way. Either one of those, and then you want to let them dry out between the watering. So infrequent deep watering, about a gallon at a time, or a quarter of an inch of rain, and that's how you want to water them. So now I'm going to talk about what you should use to actually do the watering of your roses. So let's talk about what you should water with. Well, you can certainly use a garden hose or, you know, with a watering wand. That's a great way to go. You can use bubblers, the individual ones you put next to each plant. You can use drip emitters, the kind that come off that black vinyl hosing. You can also use soaker hoses. Of those three, I really like using soaker hoses. Why? Because you're going to be moving plants and adding plants. And the soaker hoses cover the entire bed and the entire field. And they're also going to really help push those roots really, really deep. So those are the ones I'd go with. Let's talk about one of my favorite ways to water, which is sprinklers. Now, I know the first thing you're thinking, overhead watering. Everybody says you should never overhead water a rose. My response then is, what are you going to do when it's raining? Get an umbrella? No, it doesn't work that way. Overhead watering is actually very good for roses. The key is when you do it. You want to do it in the morning. That way they can dry out before the evening. And the other thing about overhead watering is it washes the leaves off. Roses love that. Much like you feel great after a spring rain, the roses feel great after an overhead watering. Let's wrap this up with a few more tips on watering. Let's talk about mulch. Mulch is important with watering. Three to four inches deep, keep it consistent on your garden. What that does is it keeps the root zone cool and it keeps it moist. That means less watering you're going to have to be doing, and that also conserves water for you, quite honestly. How often you should water? Depends on the kind of soil you have. If you have a sandy soil, you're going to have to water a lot more because it drains faster. If you have heavy clay soil like I have, you have to water less frequently. I can go days and days without watering around. So, how often you should water? Here's a little tip that I like to tell people. It's really easy. Water your plants. Mark the day on your calendar. Keep an eye on your plants. When they start to droop, you've gone one day too far. The other thing you're going to find is as your plants mature, be it the roses, be it the echinacea that I've got here, they're going to need less water because the roots are going deeper into that soil where they can pull from a greater area. And also the deeper the soil area, that means there's more water down there because it doesn't dry out as quickly from the sun. That's important to keep in mind. I want to talk about one more thing. The heat of the summer, July, August, when it gets really hot, plants, believe it or not, actually go semi-dormant in the heat. You're going to find that they're going to need less water in the summer. So just because it's hot, don't automatically overply your water. So that's basically watering that covers the basics. I hope we've taken some of the mystery out of it for you. And on behalf of Jackson and Perkins, I'm Paul Zimmerman, and thanks for joining us in the garden. Yeah.